All right, number five, Herschel Walker, 1980, his freshman season. Walker ended up winning the Heisman in 1982, and it's not like George Rogers didn't have a great year. He actually had more yards than Herschel Walker, but it was pretty clear to everybody that Herschel Walker was the best player in the country despite being a true freshman on the best team in America. It's Georgia quarterback Buck Ballou, he only completed 77 passes in 12 games that year. Herschel was the offense. He was the entire team. He was the best player in the country. All right, number four, Johnny Majors uh, in 1956. The other reason he's not higher on this list is because there's several people that even were behind him that they could have won the award as well. Um, Majors was on Tennessee's team that went 10-1. and one. He had 11 total touchdowns that year. He finished second behind Paul Hornig, uh, who was the quarterback for Notre Dame and had three touchdowns and 13 interceptions. Now you're thinking like, well, they must have been really good and he was the best player on the best team. No, they were two and eight. I have no fucking clue what happened in 1956. All right, number three, probably gonna get some pushback for this, but we do not talk about this enough. Tua Tungo Vailoa in 2018 was absolutely robbed uh, of the Heisman Trophy. Tua was the front runner for the Heisman Trophy all season long. He was on the number one team in the country with the best offense in the country all season long and was the clear cut front runner until the very last weekend when he got injured against Georgia in the fourth quarter uh, in the SEC Championship game. Before that, Tua had 41 touchdowns and two interceptions in the, in the regular season. Uh, he injured the month of November, playing eight games without having a single interception or having to attempt a pass in the fourth quarter. All right, number two, uh, and it really could be 1A and 1B here, but Darren McFadden from Arkansas, 2006. Didn't put 2007 because I understand a lot of Hogs fans feel like he got robbed then too, but Tebow did have 50 total touchdowns that year, and that's never happened in college football prior to that. Now, 2006, he was absolutely robbed. Troy Smith ends up winning the Heisman Trophy in a landslide uh, because he was the best quarterback on the number one team in the country, Ohio State. Now, McFadden um, did not have the same luxury that Ohio State did because he was never on national television. His last five games when he was in the race, he put up ridiculous numbers, but his games were on ESPN2, Jefferson Pilot, Jefferson Pilot, CBS, and then on pay-per-view. So nobody saw this happening. Uh, McFadden finished the year with 1,865 total yards, had 14 rushing touchdowns, a receiving touchdown, a kickoff return for a touchdown, and how about this? Three passing touchdowns. He actually had a 78% completion percentage and completed a pass in every single game over the last five weeks of the season. And number one, uh, to this day, still shocked that Peyton Manning's name was not announced in New York in 1997 over Charles Woodson. Uh, Manning came in and had a phenomenal season, uh, and that's not taking anything away from Woodson. He was an incredible player, um, two-way player for Michigan, had seven interceptions, and also had his biggest games in his biggest moments on national television. Peyton, though, was a senior quarterback at Tennessee who skipped the NFL draft, came back for a senior year, won 11 games, won the SEC championship, and put up almost 4,000 yards, and for the first time in, in Heisman history, they gave it to a defensive player for the very first time. 